don't hold myself out to be an e-discovery vendor and I rely on the technology and I rely on the people and the project managers primarily. Um, they've got great project managers and, and ours is a, a firm that believes in principles of project management and so the relationships that I've been able to build with the teams here at Terrace has allowed me to work as sort of a collaboration when we come into an e-discovery project uh, so that everyone sort of takes a piece of the puzzle puts it all together and then at the end we all enjoy the success of the project so you've got the processors you've got the reviewers and you've got the production everybody comes together it's a great product at the end you have a, a point person here or someone that you've worked with the most Brian McIntosh I've been working with Brian for eh, close to two years now and we've created a great relationship uh, a relationship that allows me to uh, to have confidence in what's being done behind the scenes uh, sort of a 24-7 approach. Um, he always picks up his phone, always helps me out, gives me straight answers. And in this industry, you'll find a lot of people will bury their head in the sand uh, and they will avoid you if there are problems. Uh, and working with Brian, it's communication. And communication is key, you know, it, because it allows me to communicate with my clients if there are issues so that they don't have expectations that are unrealistic. Mm -hmm. And by working with Terrace and being comfortable with the project management that they have in place, we're able to plan for the disasters, to react to the disasters, and, and then deal with them so that the client is satisfied. Because this, this isn't a perfect industry, and there's going to be problems, and there's always pitfalls. But I think as long as you're able to communicate effectively within the team, generally everybody's going to be satisfied. Well, typically what you have in, in a lot of the cases that we work with are large volumes of data. How large are we talking? Well, in several instances, a terabyte of data um, that needs to be processed, uh, reviewed in a very short period of time. Um, now, the case that we had was not a terabyte of data, but uh, it, it was a large amount of data that had been processed by a, another vendor uh, for a completely different review platform and they were having problems with it. Um, and we had a, a very sharp deadline that we needed to get a team to review a lot of documents, issue code them, and have a production that was ready within less than two weeks. Um, and, and through Terrace, uh, we were able to get the data, process the data, uh, get it teed up for review, and started a rolling production without missing any deadlines whatsoever for the litigation team. Well, one of the biggest advantages of, of using Terrace, in my opinion, is, is the ability to tap into the network uh, and to tap into a network of knowledge. Because when you're sitting there and you're looking at data and you're not sure where it is or where it's come from or what it is, and you've got a short amount of time to get it processed and reviewed and then produced, um, you need the best people. And the beauty of Terrace is, is that if someone in Phoenix is uncomfortable or not sure about a particular platform or a particular type of data, they've got a network of people in Dallas and Chicago and other places that they can tap into. And you don't see any delays. You don't see the, well, I need to take the data and I need to ship it out to such and such. Um, and so there's a streamlining of the process so that when you think there might be a bump or a hitch, uh, you're able to get through it without any issues.